Hey everyone, it's Myrna here at the Glenavon Library. Thanks for joining me at the next edition of the Tuesday Trivia, 10 minute Tea Time Tuesday Trivia. And I really appreciate you joining me today. And I'll make this quick because last time I was a little slow and uh, we went a little over. So I do apologize for that. Next week, I won't be doing a Tuesday trivia just because it's the holidays, so I probably won't have time, but I'll be back the week after, no problem. So I hope you guys are keeping warm. This week, it should be a little bit better, and uh, I think next week's going to be fantastic, and we'll be all out in our bikinis. So, question one. Colleen McCullough was most famous for which story about forbidden love between a priest and a young lady? Was it A, the thorn birds, B, love unbridled, C, forbidden love, or D, summer love? A, thorn birds, B, love unbridled, C, forbidden love, or D, summer love? Question two. Who wrote the series of unfortunate events? Was it A, Dave Pilkey, B, Anna Kurtz, C, Lemony Snicket or D. C.S. Lewis? Who wrote the series of unfortunate events? A. Dave Pilkey, B. Anna Kurtz, C. Lemony Snicket or D. C.S. Lewis? A. Where was the first oil company in North America? Was it A. Cold Lake, Alberta, B. Oil Springs, Ontario, C. Suncor, Montreal, uh, Quebec, or D. Lloydminster, Alberta. So where was the first oil company in North America? Cold Lake, Alberta, Oil Springs, Ontario, Montreal, Quebec, or Lloydminster, on Alberta? Question four. Who was the first Canadian woman to have a Billboard number one album in the American charts. So who was the first Canadian woman to have a Billboard number one album in the American charts? Was it A, Shania Twain, B, Celine Dion, C, Joni Mitchell, or D, Alanis Morissette? A, Shania, Shania Twain, Celine Dion, Joni Mitchell, or Alanis Morissette? Question five. Which Canadian university is the oldest English speaking university? Which Canadian university is the oldest English speaking university? Was it A, the University of New Brunswick, B, the University of Toronto, C, the University of British Columbia, or D, the University of Ottawa? A, New Brunswick, B, Toronto, C, BC, or D, Ottawa. Halfway there. Question six. Two Saskatchewan cities, I thought that was kind of apt, seeing as we've had like pretty terrible temperatures lately, and there's an interesting thing I'm going to tell you later. Two Saskatchewan cities have recorded the coldest ever temperature at minus 50 degrees centigrade. What two cities are they? So two Saskatchewan cities have recorded the highest coldest ever temperature at minus 50. What two cities are they? Is it A, Yorkton and Regina? B, Prince Albert and Regina, C, Saskatoon and Regina, or D, North Battleford and Estevan. A, Yorkton and Regina, B, Prince Albert and Regina, C, Saskatoon and Regina, or D, North Battleford and Estevan. Question seven. What British series depicts the life of the rich and their servants and stars Hugh Bonneville, Elizabeth McGovern, and Maggie Smith as the sharp witted Dowdry. What British series depicts the life of the rich 
and their servants and stars Hugh Bonneville, Elizabeth McGovern, Maggie Smith, who's the sharp-witted Dowdry. Is it A, Upstairs, Downstairs, B, Westminster, Westminster Abbey, C, Downton Abbey, or D, The Servants? A, Upstairs, Downstairs, B, Westminster Abbey, C, Downton Abbey, or D, The Servants? Question eight. What percentage of water does a cucumber have? And I'm pretty sure that most of you might get this. Maybe not, I don't know. Was it A, 95%, B, 75%, C, 60%, or D, 85%? What percentage of water does a cucumber have? A, 95, B, 75, C, 60, or D, 85. Question nine, how are we doing for time? Oh, we're doing good. Which was Canada's first national park? Which was Canada's first national park? Was it A, Charles Fort Historical Park, B, Banff, C, the Fundy National Park, or D, Jasper National Park. So was it A, Charles Fort Historical Site, B, Banff National Park, C, the Fundy National Park, or D, Jasper National Park? Question 10, we're nearly there. How many do you think you've got? <laughs> Which province produces the most milk? Which province produces the most milk? Is it A, Quebec, B, Alberta, C, Manitoba, or D, British Columbia? Which province produces the most milk? A, Quebec, B, Alberta, C, Manitoba, or D, British Columbia? Now, how many do you think you got right? Let's see, hey? I hope you got your friends around to come and check it out and, and compare who got the most. So number one, Colleen McCullough was famous for which story of forbidden love between a priest and a young lady? And it was A, the thorn birds. Number two, who wrote the series of unfortunate events? And that was number or letter C, Lemony Snicket. Number three, where was the first oil company in North America? And that was B, Oil Springs, Alberta. No, sorry, Oil Springs, Ontario. B, Oil Springs, Ontario. And that was December 18th, 1854. Charles Tripp received approval for a commercial oil well. That was a long time ago. Question four, who was the first Canadian woman to have a Billboard number one album in the American charts? And that was D, Alanis Morissette, for her album, Jagged Little Pill. It also won four Grammys, including Album of the Year, and sold over 33 million copies. Number five, which Canadian university is the oldest English-speaking university? And that was A, the University of New Brunswick. Not the obvious one. Number six, two Saskatchewan cities have recorded the coldest ever temperature at minus 50. What two cities are they? And that's Saskatoon and Regina. C, Saskatoon and Regina. Saskatoon on February 1st, 1893 and Regina on January 1st, 1885. So these cold temperatures are nothing new. <laughs> Number seven, what British series depicts the life of the rich and their servants? And that stars Hugh Bonneville, Elizabeth McGovern, and Maggie Smith. And that was C, Downton Abbey. Number eight, what percentage of water does a cucumber have? Well, that's A, 95%. B, 
Number nine, which was Canada's first national park? And that was B, Banff National Park, and that was 1885. Number 10, which province produces the most milk? And that was A, Quebec. There you have it. 10 questions in 10 minutes. I hope you enjoyed yourself and I really appreciate you coming and joining me today. And um, sorry, I won't be here next week, but I will be here the week after. So make sure you get your friends together and you gather around and you compare answers and see who's the smartest of the group. Have fun, take care, keep warm, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye.